me, Jermaine. So last week we talked about our encounter with Job, in particular Job chapter 1. And just to recall the story, God is in the heavenly realm and Satan is there and God asks Satan, where have you been? And Satan has been to and fro the earth. That's what he says. And God response to that is, have you considered my servant Job? And Satan begins to talk about Job's relationships with God based upon the blessings. Obviously, Job is a rich man. We've talked about that. He's very wealthy. He has a lot of kids. And he also has uh, a huge farm. He has plenty of animals. Job is rich. And so Satan believes that Job's relationship is good because the conditions within Job's life are pleasant. Who would not have a good rapport with someone who constantly does good things for you? And that is Satan's re his examination of the situation, of the relationship with God and Job. So he says that if you would just take those things away from Job, that he would curse you, that he would no longer stick by your side, that he wouldn't be faithful. And that's the same issue that we talked about last week as far as Job being put to the test. But guess who had to authorize that test? Guess who needed to prove the faithfulness of Job? It was God. Because Satan has a perception of Job. And God has a perception of Job. And then there's Job, the individual, who is oblivious to this whole trial of his character. Perhaps we too are on trial. Perhaps you are on trial, your faith is on trial. Perhaps Satan has the same type of view about your work and your spirituality. So, God says to Satan, where have you been? And he says, to and from the earth. And now God has indicted you, has offered you, right? As this example of a person who is faithful and loyal to him, not because of the conditions, but because of your love for God, your loyalty, your faithfulness to God. But Satan has an alternative view. The prosecution, you might as well call. The prosecution. This is a trial. And so the prosecution with Satan believes that your faith and loyalty and love is based upon preset conditions. That if he would take that away from you too, you would fold before God. You would curse to God and you would go somewhere else. What we learn from Job chapter 1, at the very end of it, is that although some of Job's children were killed, and some of his livestock taken away, Job had this response, Naked I came from my mother's room, and naked I shall return there. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh it away. But blessed be the name of the Lord. And I ask the question, is that your same response? Think about the particular trial that you're going through now. Even being in the moment of transition. And perhaps 
you're having to let go of things. Perhaps some things have been damaged. Perhaps God has taken away some things. In the urge to examine your character. He's always put excellent conditions before you. But now he has he's having to prove to Satan that your relationship is not based upon these conditions. So the question is, he got through that first level, the second level in chapter 2. And is attacking Job based upon his physical well-being. But through all of these calamities, and some of you are even going through this, physical disabilities, physical ailments, or you may know of someone who is going through bodily attacks, cancer, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, arthritis. We can go on and on and on and on. But perhaps you're the individual that is wrestling with the first stage was possessions and now it's your health. Satan and God are constantly having to look into Job to figure out whether or not he will prevail. Now, God is on the side of the defense. He's defending Job. But at the same time, this is a trial. So we've got to see this all play out because the prosecution thinks that Job his relationship is fake because it's based upon good condition. So then what will you do? He passed the first test. Now he's at stage two. If you read Job chapter two, where he's, his, he's being physically attacked, his body is being physically attacked. Will you remain faithful and loyal to God in the midst of his attack? This is all about proving the devil wrong. I stand with the defense, with God, on God's side, who believes that no matter what that you're going through right now, you can prevail because your relationship is not based upon condition. Your relationship is not based upon material. And yes, the material looks good, it's pleasant, it gives you status, including with your health. But at the end of the day, those things, the physical, is not who you are. Your body is but a shell. And the material is but the material. Both, both your body and things are things that certainly, should anything happen to you, you will certainly have to leave behind. It's the spirit that ascends to God, not the physical. So get that in your mindset that no matter what happens with things, including material and the exterior, the body, that the most important essence of who you are is your spirit and it is your spirit that makes you beautiful it's your spirit that makes you a loving person it's your spirit that exemplifies faith and loyalty unto god that's why god granted the permission for job to be tested in this way by satan because he knows at the end of the day that my child loves me and I guarantee you I'll bet everything and anything on him that he's a winner. Is that your statement today? Is that your sentiment on today? Are you the winner irregardless if God started taking things from you, including your health? Will you remain 
loyal and devoted and persistent, relentless in your relationship with God. His wife told him, Job, curse God and die. His, he looked, Job looked so disfigured and so different that his friends didn't even talk to him. They came to him and they sat with him, but they had no words to say. At least they came. But nonetheless, if you get nothing else, it is the spirit that is beautiful, that is loving, that is loyal, that is kind. It's the spirit that God is putting to the test. And he knows that you can prevail if you will prevail. So if God is betting for you, right? If he is defending your faith and your character, pass the test and get to the next level. We dealt with level one. Job has conquered level two. Level one was the material. Level two was a physical attack on his well-being. Next week is number three. Tune in. Thank you so much for listening. Subscribe, share, and save. This is all about the glorious gospel, the glorious message of Jesus Christ, his only son. Pass the test. Let's move through this level. We're going higher and higher, but we will prevail. And at the end of the book, there is victory. Hold on. Hold out. Intensify your worship and your praise, because after all, that is going to pay off. Take care.